Alright, what's up YouTube? He of Rahili here, bringing to you guys a video on Final Fantasy XIV. I think this is like my second video for Final Fantasy XIV. I don't normally do these. I know Lee does them, but anyways, here's my video for Final Fantasy XIV. I'll be doing a video on the Glamour Dresser. Normally, I don't see people using this, and especially one of my friends are not using these. And I'm going to show you guys how to use them, and just how useful they are, and just how flexible you can be with your fashion. Anyways. To start off, we're gonna have to head over to one of the Adventures Guilds. I'll be heading over to the one in Old Da. So go ahead and teleport. Old Da steps in Old. You can also go to the ones in Gridania and the other city, but I have a. I like Old Da. It's pretty easy to get to the Adventures Guild because there's an Aetherite right there. There we go. Aethernet Adventures Guild. So you're gonna head over to one of the inns in the Adventures Guilds to access the Glamour Dresser. So let's go ahead and run over. Up these stairs into the quicksand. Alright, as you can see here, the innkeep. Go ahead and click on him and retire to an inn. Oh, yeah, by the way, when you're using this, you will save using those glamour prisms that are pretty expensive now, depending on, you know, if you do buy them. So yeah, that's going to be pretty helpful. Anyways, here's the Glamour Dresser. Go ahead and access it. So you can see here, I already have some items here. Or rather, a lot of items. Because I do Glamour a lot. So, we're going to go ahead and store some items into the Glamour Prism. Or we're going to the Glamour Dresser. So go ahead and pick an item. Or the fashion that you want to do. So, I just bought this demonic, demonic attire. So we're going to pick up one of these items here. Um... Okay, let's use the thigh boots. So it's gonna ask you to use the glamour prism, go ahead and say yes, and it'll be stored in here. As you can see, you can go ahead and apply the glamour, restore the item, dye it, and try it on. Well, here's the most important part, the glamour palettes. So these allow you to apply glamours on the fly, as long as you're in a safe area, and will not use any glamour prisms. For example, here's my set. And I can also put this on, Hit save, hit apply, there we go. This is my current glamour set. And if I want to change this right away, go ahead and hit slot one, hit apply, and kaboom, see? Pretty easy, doesn't use any glamour prisms as you can see. Well aside from the one I just used to go ahead and add some stuff to the glamour dresser, but you can see what I mean. Another important part is if you dye your stuff here, you will not use a dye. For example, if I dye this here, now it's jet black, I have my glamour palettes, and apply it, hit save, you'll see that it'll keep the dye. However, if I dye it from here, from the glamour palettes, you'll see that it'll only apply to the palette, but not to the item. For example, see here, there's no more dye. However, in the glamour dresser, it still has the general purpose jet black dye. If you want to put it back, simply click on it, hit save, hit apply, and there we go. You can see that I did not lose my dye from the item. So it's pretty good if you want to save dyes that are pretty expensive, such as the pure white and jet black. And yeah, hopefully this helps you out, and hopefully you have fun fashioning out your character. He Rally here, signing off, wishing you guys a wonderful new year.